questions. Hopefully the captains and the guests have got the answers. Let's meet the teams. Alongside Sam, we've got a three-time Olympic gold medalist and a Commonwealth swimming champion. That'll explain the lifeguard in my dressing room. <laughs> it's Patsy's Jazz Carly! And joining Hugo is an Arsenal and England footballer and a double world record breaker. One in the hurdles and one for appearances on this show. It's Kelly Smith and Colin Jackson. <laughs> Colin, we've been doing a bit of number crunching. Now, you've been coming on this show for over 34 years. Yeah. Right, so effectively before I was born. <laughs> Come off it. So, including mystery guests, over 34 years you've appeared on the show. Mm. Any idea? No. 48 times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and to celebrate that, we've got you the commemorative question of sport plants. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Holly Jackson, everybody. <laughs> There you go, put that, you're welcome, you're welcome. Beautiful. Honestly, that's not out of my dressing room, we'll just put a sticker on it. That is for you. Two more appearances and you'll have a question of sport, checkbook and pen. <laughs> See how we go on first. Uh, before we get going, Ed, actually, you're the most successful team pursuit rider in history. Yes. Yeah. That is, yes, that is going stuff. That is going stuff. Hey, thanks, Barry. I try my best. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, do you ever, like, obviously people talk about Chris Hoy and the Kennys all the time. Do you ever get a bit like, oh, excuse me, <laughs> what, what about this guy? No, no. The thing is that British cycling's had a great run. Yeah. There's been so many successful team pursuers, team sprinters, and, you know, to be fair, if you're part of that team, you're probably going to be the most successful at something, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. Shall we crack on? Yeah. Yes. Here we go. We're kicking off the show with the starting 11, and Sam, your team are up first. Pick a number, get it right, you win a point. And for your star player, which tonight is number four, you'll get two points. 60 seconds on the clock. Shout What's them, your yeah. first yes. number? Number four. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh. Not Shaq. Six. All right. Six. I've gone blank. Begins with an M. Five. Five. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, Dan go on, Jos. Dan James. Dan. No, no, Dan. Um, go on, you've got it. Why have I not got it? Three. Holly Doyle. Yeah, Two. correct. Two. Uh, Eleven. No, 11. Oh, oh, Morgan. Yeah. 10. Oh, Scotty Pippen. Yeah. 8. Oh, um, go on, Jazz. Some, 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 yeah, yeah, some, go on. 7. Uh, yeah. I thought he gave it to you. So no. Oh, Ricky, start that one. Two of Terrible. them, Jazz. The one there then, that was number 8. Summer McIntosh. McIntosh. And your other one, which was Dan Bigger, Wales and Lions rugby star. Number two, Alex Edmondson. Number four, I can't believe he's your star player, Lennox Lewis. That's, oh, my God, it is. Oh, oh my God, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number six, French defender, Raphael Varane. And that was it. OK, I would say a good start, but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It's terrible. OK, we'll move on. Okay, you go. It's over to you now. Same rules apply. Your star player is number two. There's a minute on the clock. Where do you want to start? Number two, please, Paddy. Yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah. Number one. David Hay. Oh, David Hay. Yeah. Three. Monica Sellers. No. It's not graph. Come on. Four. Okay, four. What do you have to tell us about? Yeah. David Coulter on six. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Alex Morgan. Yeah. Eight. Right, Benjamin. Yeah. Nine. Kadrin Levitt. Yeah. Ten. Oh, no. It's 11, 11, 11. 11. 
Sean White Phillips? No. Ah. Uh, who is it? It's not Jude Bellingham. How did you not get number 11 then? Eddie Unketty. Oh my gosh. Number 10, Johnny Burstow and Chris Everts. Oh my goodness. What I loved about that, Kelly, was not only were you getting the answers right, but I loved the speed. He <laughs> was like, Deputy, Tom Brady, <laughs> Brandon Sullivan, David Coulthard. It was, I mean, the zone. It was zone. fantastic, though. At the end of that round, the score is Sam's team are on three, Hugo's team nine. Guests are in the spotlight now. They'll each be getting a question on their own sports. Get it right, and their captain will be sliding a disc to win points. Get it wrong, though, and the captains will be faced with the bad board. Ooh. And points will be taken away. Nobody wants that. OK, Ed, over to you first. Your team needs the points here, pal. We've got to get this right. All right. Who in Tokyo won a second Olympic medal with silver in the team pursuit before winning gold in the Madison? So they were in the team pursuit in Rio. Didn't, um... Yeah. The, the answer? Wait, I'd love the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it. Yes. Yes, that's what we want. It's Katie Archbold. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Step up to the plate here. We need a captain's performance. Come on, Sam. Ooh. Oh, it's too big. It's too big. It's too big. Oh. Oh. There you go. <sighs> Just a question now for my fellow international teammates from the Soccer Aid England squad. <laughs> Kelly, you don't don't be drawn in. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> we, we, we'll talk about it later. Uh, that good, she was stumped for words. <laughs> Kelly, which striker in 2020 became the first player to score 50 WSL goals by scoring a hat trick against Spurs? Any thoughts, Kelly? I'm thinking. Vivian Medema, as she's the main striker for Arsenal. But I don't actually remember her scoring a hat trick. Kim Little or Vivian Medema, I'm thinking. What did you get to say? I think Vivian Medema because of Go her goal scoring tally so far. Go for it. First to 50. Go for it. You think? And the other one is? Kim Little. I'm going to go with Vivian Medema. Colin, <laughs> talk out of that one. Oh. No, you're right. Oh. Well done. <laughs> All right, then, here we go. Come on, you go. Oh. Come on, Sorry, Kelly. Take it. Jazz. <clears throat> Since 2018 in the women's 1500 metres freestyle, who has won silvers at the European and World Championships to go with bronze at the Olympics? In the 1500? Yeah. Sarah Kohler from Germany. Didn't even think about it. Get in. Wow. Well done, Jazz. Jazz, that was Sam. brilliant. Sam, we need a five. We need a five. Go on, Sam. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, that is five. Paddy? It's five. Excuse you don't even me. have to get down. <laughs> Excuse me, captains. <laughs> Let me just look at the scores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you a five. <laughs> Okay, Colin, over to you now. Last question, pal, no pressure. Who has finished fifth and then fourth in the last two Olympic 110-metre hurdles finals? Fifth? That's so Fifth nice. and then fourth in the last two Olympic 110-metre hurdles finals. Oh, my God, fifth and then fourth. Yeah, it's a 
consistently on the yeah. periphery. When you've been on that many times, Colin, we've got to pull out the big gun question. Yeah, you yeah. have. You should. Yeah, no. If you get it wrong, you have to give your plant back. <laughs> just dip down. Has Colin spotted something up in the light? <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking for inspiration. Is there a it's not... <laughs> I think it is, it is Pascal. Back yourself. <laughs> Never back myself in the open <laughs> Never, never, never. I think it could be Pascal. Fourth in Tokyo. Ah. Oh, oh my. Nice. Oh. Devin Allen from the United States. What an answer. Oh. Well in. Oh. Okay, you go. This is it. Oh. All right. Ooh, last mm. chance. Captains, come back and join your teams. Well done. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. At the end of that round, the scores are Sam's team are on nine, Hugo's team 11. and sport have a tempestuous relationship and this weather report describes the career of one particular sports star. Let's head over to the BBC Weather Centre now where a wine win Evans has the forecast. Hello, hello everyone. Here's your forecast. A bright and breezy start on the south coast with a warm wind blowing in from the direction of South Wales. Moving into the capital and a chance of some cold temperatures and maybe even snow with white being the predominant force in the north of the city. Moving on to central Spain, and again, expect some white frost here too, but things will certainly warm up quickly. Now, as we head west towards the Portuguese coast, temperatures rise to a final peak that certainly can't be rivaled anywhere else in Europe. All over France, temperatures are soaring and there is a sea of red everywhere. Expect this to continue for most of the summer. As temperatures drop again in Spain, that cool easterly wind moves across southern parts of the UK and back into the capital. Initial lows expected, but a return to some high pressure is just around the corner. That's the forecast. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. OK. Confer with your teammates, write your answer on the tablet and lock it in. Um, yeah, I trust your captain's judgment. No, <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> That was first. I think, yeah, I think, I think that, that was first. Yeah. Okay, lock it in. Let's have a look what you've put. <laughs> oh, God, Gareth, but, oh, yes, I know. <laughs> and you're both absolutely spot on. Well done. Okay, questions now. You goals, team. Gareth Bale was PFA Player of the Year twice during his first spell at Spurs, 2011 and 2013. Which Dutchman won the award in 2012? I'm trying to think about who was playing with Man U at that time. Was it Rob Robinson? Uh, Rob Robinson first. Sam Percy. Yeah, he banged like 30-plus yeah. goals. Yeah. He Judas our star role yeah. club. Love him. He's great. Um, <laughs> it's got to be right. Went to United. Yeah. Yeah. And then went on winning the title. that I can think of that. Yeah, and then Van der Sar, I think that's beyond his. Goalies don't really RVG. get that award, do they? It's RVG. more strikers or midfielders. Yeah, yeah. RVP. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go for that. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Go for it. Robin van Persie. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> right, Sam's team. Bale scored in extra time to help Real Madrid beat Atletico Madrid in the 2014 Champions League final. Who was the Real Madrid manager that season? Ancelotti. Has Mourinho been in there? Mourinho was there. Mourinho. I don't know what... Because Mourinho had worked with Bale, but I don't know... Yeah, You've got an idea on this one. Yeah, that was I think so. Okay. They've got such a turnover of managers. Yeah. 
when we said Mourinho, I went there, but I think 2014 was too late for Mourinho. So I think after him was Ancelotti. And I think that's where I go a little bit blank because I'm unsure about how long Ancelotti was there for. We're going to go for Ancelotti. <sighs> Correct. Oh. <laughs> right, OK, you goes, team. Bale scored three goals to help Wales reach the Euro 2016 semi-finals. Which country then knocked them out of the tournament? Who knocked Wales out of the tournament? Oh, yeah. Portugal. Straight, you're right. In Lyon. How was that? OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we just, like, take loads of time like these lots? Yeah. <laughs> you, you were there. Yeah. You watched it. Yeah. It was Portugal. Yeah. Kelly, are you happy with Portugal? Yeah, I'm over it now. OK. Paddy, it, it, it was Portugal. Correct. <laughs> Finally, Sam's team. On his return to the Premier League on loan with Spurs last season, he scored a hat-trick against which club, <gasps> who then went on to be relegated? Who? Who was relegated? Fulham was relegated. Who have you got down on the list at the minute, Sam? Fulham. I keep seeing, I get mixed up because now I'm like in my head, I'm like, oh, Brentford, but Brentford came up. You know, we need to get confused about who goes up and down. <laughs> Sheffield United. Sheffield United. And what's his name got sacked? Maroon Kit. Maroon Kit. Maroon Kit. I feel like Sheffield United got a few bad results, but I feel like Fulham did too, but because it's quite a derby. But I'm... Just give us a team. Either what? Sheffield United or Fulham. Should we go for Fulham? Trust you, yeah. We'll go with yours. Let's go Fulham. We'll go Fulham. Sheffield United. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Oh. At the end of that round, the scores are Sam's team are on 11, Hugo's team 14. play a game called Move the Goalpost now. Once you've heard the question, you'll have the choice of using either big or small goalposts. If you play it safe with a big goalpost, you'll get one point or three points for small posts. OK. The Formula One Championship started in 1950. I'd like to know how many Grand Prix races there have been in total up to and including the 2020 season. And I can tell you the answer is between 750 and 1,200. How many were averages a year? Definitely go small. So there's been... We get... Yeah? Right, what yeah. year is it now? Yeah. Yeah. We get a proper 150. And we get one point. It's a bit of working out going over there, Ed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pencils going like, there. You'd never believe it, but I've got a GCSE in maths, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? What did you start? A B, and that was one of the best ones, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I think that you can that, which isn't right. I don't. I tell you what, write, write, write numbers down. Yeah. Just in terms of instinct, and then yeah. we'll see. So I think it is. I'm just trying to. I love that tactic, Hugo. You go. You go. Being a caps, you just said write numbers down. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the same ballpark, aren't we? Okay. So. Okay, so we'll be going for the small goalposts. <laughs> you girls team are locked in. It's weird because we're obviously not getting paid by the minute. <laughs> Right, so that's roughly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to yeah. 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 You're going to go big or small, Sam? Just you wait and we see. we find out. OK, all right then. OK. All right, both answers are in. Let's have a look if you've gone big or small goalposts. Let's have a look. Both gone big. Ooh. Right, OK. Let's see who was right. Stop. Well played, you. Good, go. <laughs> it was 1,035. Oh, 1,035. Good answer. Right, OK, let's do another one. 
The USA were the biggest team at the Tokyo Olympics. How many competitors did they take in total? And I can tell you that the answer is between 450 and 750. I thought I saw something where the GB team had about yeah. that amount. These are competitors, yeah. aren't they? Uh, they were so are we including the equestrian horses? Bro, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, I didn't race yet. Horses don't get a medal. What do they get? Nah. They're the ones putting the graft in. <laughs> a couple of sugar lumps, that's it. Game yeah, over. Nice pack of mints. Footwork. Yeah, I go. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe it's around that figure. Okay, so we've got a small goal. I'm locked in, yeah? There. Oh, go for it! <laughs> yeah. Both locked in? Well, down What's one. What's the one behind that? I'd go down one. Let's go down one. Yeah. There? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Happy? Yeah. OK, locked in. Right, let's have a look what you've got. Firstly, let's see if anyone's gone small. Let's have a look. Oh! Oh, oh both <laughs> big again! <laughs> Right, OK, you go. You've gone higher end of the scale. Right, let's have a look who was right. Surely, come on. Come oh! On. Yeah! Great start at the end. Great start at the end. Great start. 613. Well done, both teams there. Fantastic, that. At the end of the round, the scores are Sam's team are on 12, Hugo's team 15. For this game, you will see a sequence of sporting images. All you have to do is work out what is missing. You go, here's your first one. What's missing from here? It's just the Liverpool manager after Roy Hodgson. Do you know who they are, there, obviously? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hodgson, Brent Hodgson, yeah, yeah Rogers, Klopp. Kenny Dalglish, yeah. yeah. We think of his fighting career at Asia. But then he came in, I remember that was during that bit, and that's the like, early 2000s. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, I think it is, but is yeah. it? Is it? We'll find out. <laughs> There's two Liverpool managers which you've not legend. named. It's not any of those. You sure? No. <laughs> I hope you. Yeah, OK, we're going to go for it. Kenny Dalglish. Correct. <laughs> OK, some see. Which event is missing from this sequence of day one decathlon events? <sighs> Ugh. Hurdles. Right. Long jump. So we've got the 100 metres, long jump, shot put, and then what? Right, what are we missing? Ah, OK. Yeah, that one. They do the 800. But you've got it over there. That's always the last event. Yeah. This is all explosive stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, but. So. Depends if, like, athletic, is there any logic in athletics or... No, not really. Right, right. <laughs> that's why I did it. <laughs> Maybe high jump. I think. It's quite explosive. But, um... Are we thinking a track or a field event? Fourth event on day one. <clears throat> I think we should say steeplechase just because I like the sound of it. <laughs> that's the most random thing ever. <laughs> Jazz, what was your thought? Because you were saying about... The track events. Yeah, because they've done short, haven't they? So I think maybe a longer one, but then do steeple chase. Which, yeah, and then they finish off on the track, don't they? Running. And yeah, it's So, yeah. Steeple chase. Well, I can tell you the answer was on your list. You did say it. You did say it. It's not steeplechase, Colin. It's the high jump. All right. High oh, jump. You said it. You had it there. Sorry. At the end of that round, Sam's team are on 12. Hugo's team, 16. Four points separating our teams. One more round to see who will win tonight. And as always, it'll be decided on the buzzer. It's one point for a correct answer, but get it wrong, and it's a point away. So make sure of your answers, everyone. OK. If you're ready, off we go. In which Middle Eastern country did Anthony Joshua beat Andrew West Jr.? Saudi Arabia. Correct. Which British man won two swimming relay gold medals at the Tokyo Olympics? James Guy. Correct. Which county cricket team play their own matches at Trent Bridge? 
Nottinghamshire. Correct. Which club won the first UEFA Women's Champions League title in 2021? Chelsea. Barcelona. Oh, oh my gosh, they beat... Great Britain's Rebecca Romero won Olympic medals in cycling and which other sport? Yeah. Rowan. Correct. The White Sox and the Black Hawks are major... Chicago. Correct. <laughs> Six-time Wimbledon champion Novak Djokovic represents which country? Serbia. Correct. Which American won his first 110-metre hurdles world championship medal gold in Doha? <laughs> Grant Holloway. In which city did Manchester United beat Chelsea in the 2008 UEFA Champions League final? Moscow. The Walker Cup is played between amateur teams in which sport? Golf. Final scores are in, and it's epic. <laughs> Hugo's team, 16. Sam's team, 17. <laughs> wow. 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 That was an intense buzz around there. Were you having a go at it, y'all? Were they quicker, or did you just... They were quick. And they were better. very quick. Yeah. And a lot better. They were very That was unbelievable, that one. When you nailed that cricket question, I was like, it's all over. <laughs> Kelly, how did you feel when you nicked that? I know, I, I just wanted, wanted to, uh, the question to be finished before I could answer it, but he buzzed in and Sorry, it. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's all we've got time for tonight. A huge thanks to all of our guests and the three of us. We'll see you next time. Ta-ra.